Today we're spending the day here at Mary Moore Park in Redmond. A beautiful day. We're enjoying getting some solar up here, getting those batteries recharged. It seemed that our fridge has not been staying cool or cooling adequately. I think a lot of the reason for that is we're just slightly too tilted at some of the spots. So that's all right. We're 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 pretty level here. I've actually got the levelers down and you know, if you're up front, you probably wouldn't even notice it. I think you'd really have to be looking, which is kind of a cool thing. Yesterday, Emma and I were out for a bike ride and found a new spot near a new light rail station that's up in Bellevue. That's kind of in a nicer area as well. So we'll be heading out there today because it seems like there's a couple of perks to that spot. It doesn't have any graffiti around there that we've seen, but it's actually kind of near sort of a between a Porsche dealership and an Audi dealership. So kind of in a nicer area, pretty level. And there are actually other semi trucks there. I think we did see one RV there, one motorhome there, an older one with a little bit of trash around it. But I think that's like just about a block or two away. So that's pretty nice. So we'll be giving that a shot in just a little bit. Emma should be off in about another 20 minutes. So we're gonna head up there and go pick her up. I figure it might be kind of cool to do a quick video with some of the sounds of the engine and the, the creaks and, and such while driving this rig might be kind of a nice comparison to our holiday rambler once we get that because that'll be a completely different setup completely different chassis and all that good stuff so i thought i'd bring you along as we as we drive through the city here we did get an update ish on the holiday rambler so uh, with minimal confidence it sounds like the dealership would be expecting it around february so we'll have to limit how many miles we put on this of course and the good news is that we have our e-bikes and we're finding we now have five places that we park safely and confidently out here in this area and Emma can still ride to work pretty easily and she's used to riding all throughout the winter so we're in uh we're in pretty great shape there so that'll help save on some of the mileage I think yeah so a little update there but let's get you guys strapped in and let's hit the road I think you'll you'll really be able to pick up on her squeaks over the bumps like that. Got another one coming up here if I'm not mistaken as well. And a lot of that creaking is the rear springs, and I've lubricated them uh, very recently. Actually, and got nothing. Uh, it did not get a good result. So. definitely be very curious to see the differences uh, with this rig and then with the uh, Holiday Rambler. With that liquid spring suspension, I expect that it'll be virtually silent, so we shouldn't have a squeaking sound. You definitely get a, some of that spring, uh, some of the sounds from the leaf springs. And a lot of the kind of crunching and popping sounds, that's from the foam boards as far as I know. Let's see. This gentleman's been here for three years now, three, four years. He got a girlfriend for a while, it looked like, so I wonder if they're still together. Minivan life. I should have introduced ourselves when we were 
living in, in our Odyssey. That doesn't seem safe, buddy. For the motor being right here, like right on, you know, almost underneath your feet, uh, right next to your feet, really, it's actually pretty surprisingly quiet. jostled quite a bit. Low sensitivity for crash detections. <laughs> I do think that this V8 has a kind of a nice low rumble, and when we're cruising through the downtown Seattle tunnel, it, uh, it echoes through there, and it's kind of nice. It's no hot rod, but a hardy V8. If you guys have a good fix for the leaf springs squeaking like that, the way that I had attempted to resolve some of that was to lift this guy up as far as it would go, release some of that tension, and spray the WD-40 lithium grease in there. Uh, I don't know if that helped at all. <laughs> you guys might have have a another suggestion. The amount of clearance on those school buses is pretty pretty wonderful. I'm a, I'm a little jealous of that, that's for sure. <laughs> ah, man, I've already talked about this a couple times. We, man, we scrape on everything. It's, it's nuts. Might as well be a lowrider. Well, Tech Designs has an option for our beers. For, they have an option for the Econoline chassis and a couple other chassis for anybody interested in that. So you can you can get around that issue. You raise it three inches, six inches, a couple options in between there. And it replaces a lot of the suspension componentry, so. So for those who don't know already, most most of you guys probably do, but uh, there's actually an electronic shift option. You got a plus and a minus on the on the the gear selector here, um, and it'll make sure that say I I I'm in sixth gear and I take it and I hit the minus button. It'll make sure that I don't go past fifth gear. 
So I can also go in and press to a hall mode and you'll get a little yellow light there. And that just means that instead of shifting at 2,500 RPMs or 2,000 RPMs like I would normally shift, it shifts a little later because it's expecting that you're going to need the extra torque. So it'll go to 3,000, 3,500, depending on how, how hard you're putting, pushing the accelerator. We usually don't we usually don't need it, but it can come in handy if you're really trying to get up a mountain pass or something like that. But letting off and, and pressing the accelerator a little bit farther will essentially you know, have the same effect. accelerator you know a, a little bit uh, relative I've got a for first a second it was a 3100 rpm shift second to third it was a 33 3400 rpm shift and then uh, third to fourth it looked like a about a 3000 3100 rpm shift so, or like right there about 2600 so exactly what you'd expect in any other car six-speed transmission and it really likes to find six gear for maximum fuel efficiency so you could be going 30 35 and it'll, it'll drop into six gear there just try to sip as much fuel as possible I don't mind it it doesn't have the auto stop start feature but you know pros and cons potentially less wear on the starter. The other nice thing that Toa Hall mode does is um, as you're going down a hill, it makes sure to leave your RPMs a little bit higher. That way you can use that transmission braking. And uh, the, the friction there <coughs> and the resistance in the transmission in order to slow you down, which uh, on some grades, every little bit helps. That's for sure. There's a funny phenomenon that I've seen out here where uh, you'll have the stop line and the crosswalk there, and people will leave just as this person is doing right here. They, they will leave a car's length or more between the front of their vehicle and the stop line there. I, I'm not sure what that's about, uh, but I've seen it where all three lanes of traffic, including the turn lane, the left turn lane, will, will actually do the same exact thing. I'm not, no clue why that is. And so naturally, I'll pull up and I'll go all the way to the line. They don't get the hit. Intersection is usually not advised. I think folks really panic. They do not want anybody to cut in front of them. So, uh, roundabouts would probably concern some folks, especially new drivers of uh, something this large, but they're really no different. Just watch your back tire.
<laughs> when the roads come in like this, I tend to wait or slow down and uh, try to get through it before another vehicle. Just because we're so wide. Especially when there's traffic or there's parked cars on this side. Alright, and now let Emma know that we're here, and then we can go to our new spot. Should be coming out any moment. Oh good, she remembered her battery. She's been able to charge her bike battery at work. Hello. Hi. New spot day, all about it. Ooh boy. They have a goal of $76,000 for their PTA fundraising and they're actually almost there. That is a lot of money. This looks like a good enough spot. Yep. No cars broken into, no nonsense, no graffiti here. Theoretically, there's transit security and cameras, although 
It's more like security theater. Get off the road a little bit more. Alrighty, let me go ahead and get the levelers going and then I'll show you around. Alrighty, and here we are. It may not look like a whole lot, but it's a, it's a nice option because we're up to five spots now. So this is actually pretty decent. Unfortunately, it's looking a lot busier than it did yesterday, but you know, hey, it's, it's Tuesday, that's fine. So on this side, we have the uh, King County Metro base. They own Sound Transit, so that's why you see those guys there. I'm a bit of a, a bus fan myself. <laughs> I do like to look at some buses. Over here, we have the uh, the King County Sheriff substation. It looks like they've got vehicles there. And then the operations maintenance building for Sound Transit. You can see back here, some of their trains, some of which are brand new because they're extending the light rail line from Seattle down south to Federal Way. And then of course, east and north here to Bellevue and Redmond and all that good stuff. So that project is very expensive and uh, in the works right now. I probably look like a pretty huge goof up here on the roof. A roof goof. Ew. This is pretty nice. There's a long trail that used to be a, a railway that goes from a little past here all the way up through Kirkland and all that. So Emma can actually take that to work. It's a really nice bike ride in the morning. It'll take her less than half an hour to get to work, which is great. So, hey, we're really excited. It's kind of rare to find really nice little spots like this, other than the, the noise that we're hearing right now. But nice little spots like this where you know that we're out of the way. We're not, nobody's gonna mess with us and we're not messing with anybody else. So, hey, thank you for watching, guys. We'll see you in the next video. Bye.